there, it's Roseanne again from Country Chic Paint. We often get questions from customers about how to choose colors for their projects. I completely understand how hard it is to pick a color sometimes. I often change my mind about four or five times before I get started on a piece. With so many colors and color combination possibilities, it can be hard to decide which one you'll love the most. Luckily, I have a few tips to share that will help you narrow things down, so stay tuned. In this video, I'll go over some of our most popular colors, but before I do that, I'd like to share a quick tip with you. One of the best things you can do before starting your project is to find a piece of scrap wood or molding, for example, and paint it in the color or color combination that you have in mind for your project. You can place this test piece in a part of your home where your piece will go, so you can see if it fits with the space and also if the color combination works well together. Most of us are drawn to neutrals for our furniture, so I'd like to share some of our most popular neutral colors with you. If you're a bit intimidated by color, or you're worried about matching your furniture with the rest of your home, neutrals are a safe option. They're easy to match with anything and they won't clash or go out of style. We have three whites in our line. Simplicity, a pure white, vanilla frosting, an off-white, and cheesecake a warm creamy white. All of these are very popular. They can be paired with any other color in our line and you're guaranteed to have beautiful results. Grays are also a beautiful and trendy option. We have several grays in our line ranging from very light like Lazy Linen to medium grays like Pebble Beach and Cobblestone right down to the dark grays like Hurricane and Rocky Mountain. Of course, you can't go wrong with a classic black like licorice either. For people who like a bit of a subtle hint of color, I would suggest you try Elegance and Harmony. They go well with anything on their own or combined together. You can also let your piece get you in the right direction. Here's what two of our retailers suggest you look for when picking a color for your project. Hi, I'm Julie Zielinski and I'm Stacy Farnbrook and we're the Salvage Sisters and Company out of Omaha, Nebraska. When picking the right color for a piece of furniture, we definitely look at the shapes and lines on the furniture. If it's something more feminine and dainty, we probably use a lighter, brighter color or something maybe more pastel. If it's more masculine and bigger, chunkier, then we probably will use a darker color like a dark blue, charcoal, gray, black. And of course, we always love white pretty much on everything. Now, some of you might be more conservative in your decorating style than others, but even if you typically go for neutrals, I would suggest you to try and go bold every once in a while. Our color line has many great options if you're looking for a color to make your piece pop. For a girl's room, I would suggest trying vintage cupcake if you're going for a soft and feminine look. For something more bold, try our Fool Bloom, which is a beautiful coral or cherry blossom, a darker pink. Another color that can make your piece pop is Devotion, our bright red, or Fresh Mustard, as the name suggests, a mustard yellow color. You can even mix and match colors and use them in different sections on your piece or layer and distress the different colors. Kate Miller, one of our regular bloggers, has some tips for you regarding some popular colors you might want to try. Hi, I'm Kate from Little City Farmhouse. Picking the paint color is one of my favorite parts of every project. You should leave the style of the furniture will tell me what direction I want to go. If I'm going for a farmhouse style, I really tend towards the neutrals. I love grays. Coastal Fog from the limited edition color lineup right now is one of my absolute favorites. Uh, vanilla Frosting, I paint with all the time. It's such a great white that goes with everything. Um, if I really want to pop a color, my favorites are Rustic Charm and Bliss. Everybody loves turquoise right now. If you're stuck on a color, um, my number one suggestion would be to pick your top two or three and order the little sample jars. Uh, paint some swatches on. That's a great way to see what color would match your house and what color you love the most. On our website, we have lots of resources available to help you choose exactly what products you'll need, including examples of all our finishing products in use. Sample swatches of some great color combinations and an inspiration page full of beautiful painted pieces. And there's a the blog as well where we constantly add new pieces to inspire you. 
So make sure you take a look around. There's something there for every style. Carrie Fraser from Reloving Furniture in Victoria, BC also has some great tips for you to help you pick colors. At Reloving Furniture, we're often asked how we pick colors for our pieces. So how, what are, inspires us to pick certain colors for certain pieces? And there are loads of colors to pick from in the Country Chic color line. So of course that would be really difficult. What we do is first we look at the style of the piece. And let's say it's French country, it, we might get excited to paint something very chippy white. Uh, we also have a French theme night that we do in November and there's a lot of grays, lazy linen, simplicity, pebble beach, those colors, grays and whites and creams like vanilla frosting. Also with the color of wood, you might have a different effect. So if it's a dark piece of wood that you're starting with, uh, when you paint with simplicity or white, then the dark wood really pops through. If you're painting with a, a medium toned wood like mahogany, I find that sage advice really pops uh, with, with that wood when you're distressing. Another thing that influences our uh, choice of color is our markets. Here on the Pacific Northwest, we get asked a lot for turquoise and blues as well as um, whites. So a lot of the bliss, uh, tropical cocktail and simplicity are used. And then uh, next would be the sage advice and elegance. But it's unique to the region and the population and even sometimes the time of the year uh, influences what we might paint with. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment and click the like button. We also encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming tutorial videos. To find out more about our products and where you can find them, click the website link on your screen now or in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting!